Hey Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Mud Bug by Nolo Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in, break these bags down. These Mud Bugs are carpet bags. This is a true carpet material. I actually reached out to Billy, the owner of Nolo Bags, just to verify it wasn't a hybrid material because it has some characteristics of a hybrid material and I was a little curious. It is a true carpet, 100% polypropylene material. I will say when this material is new, it's stiff. Give this bag time to break in. You, you, trust me, it, it's going to play so much better once it does break in. This material plays awesome. It, it's, it's one of the slower materials I've thrown. On dry boards, it plays about a four, maybe even down to a three and a half. Like I said, it has a ton of control. Great for playing a dirty style game. You can put blockers wherever you want on the board. It's just, it's a, it's a fun bag to throw if you like playing that kind of, like creating a lot of congestion. It, it, it's awesome for shot shaping, cuts, rolls, flops, does it wonderfully. This bag is great. Even if you're not the best at that, you're trying to learn how to cut and roll and flop, you can definitely learn with this bag. It's very it, very easy bag to, to shape shots with. Now, I will say when boards start getting moisture on them from humidity and dampness there, this video actually picks up speed and plays faster. It'll play like a six, six and a half, depending on how much moisture is on the board. In fact, the day that I went out and did my filming for, for the, the video here, it, there was there, it, there was rain in the area, right? The, the, when I pulled the boards out, my boards were dry, but in my car, but there was rain in the area, there was moisture in the air. And so when I first started throwing, as you'll see here, the bags had more bite to them. They were, I was throwing more blockers. They even had some kick to them. It, it played more like a true carpet bag. But as the session went on, that moisture in the air kind of started settling on the boards. The boards started getting damper and damper. And you'll see towards the end of this video, I'm starting to run bags in the hole. This bag becomes more of a more of a hole runner style bag than a dirty dirty board style bag. And that's the beauty of this bag is the versatility of it through all conditions. So if you like to play a dirty style game, this is a perfect bag for dry boards. If you like to play more of a hole for hole style game, this is a great bag for humidity and moisture in the air when your other bags are going to stick and not move. So anyway, dry conditions, about a four speed. Remember, it's a slow four on the slow side. Fast side. This is also a pretty unique material. In fact, I don't know of anyone other than Nola that uses any, either of these two materials. Now, this fast side is a very, very thin material. And if I had one gripe with this bag, it's it's the hand feel. You've got a thick slow side. You've got a really thin fast side. And when you go to throw it, when you when you flip the bag over from, from slow side to fast side, it's a completely different feeling bag. And it takes a little while to get used to. When I, I don't notice it after I've been throwing the bags for a while. So if I get in throw several games, I forget about it. But every time I pick the bag up first, brand new, I notice right away the, the difference in the feel, kind of the textures and the thinness of the materials. Not a big deal. It's just something to, 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 to be aware of. It's not a deal breaker for me because if that's the biggest issue I got with the bag, there's then there's really no issues at all. But just be aware of that. Fast side plays about an eight speed. It's it's a touch slower than that, than that Pro Sniper fast side or even the Game Changer fast side. It plays a little slower than that. So it's more like an eight. It's fast. It has some control to it. And I like that because, you know, fourth bag if i want to make sure i put it back in the hole I'm, I'm going to flip it over and throw this fast side just so i know it doesn't hang up i know it's going to slide up the board and i'm not really afraid to do that because even though it's fast i, I know if i that if i get it in the right spot it's, it's not going to fly over the hole it's going to hit and go in so four eight speeds what i'm gonna call this bag template on this it's a medium template bag it's got a medium amount of fill kind of a medium thinness to it so it gives the bag it's not overly floppy but it does give the bag some flop and this bag does need some flop to it because of because of the slow side material and as i mentioned the control the stickiness the bite that it has if this bag was fuller it would really be hard to control it would just have a ton of bounce and kick to it that you don't want so i love the fact that nola gave the bag some flop it also gives the bag some forgiveness around the hole and i'll get to that here and i talk about playability the whole front of this bag the fill in here is a mixed fill which again i love the mixed fill as well because if you had a 100 percent bead fill in this bag it would have more bounce be hard to, hard to control as well so i love the fact there's some flat fill in here to kind of soften that that kick take a little bit of that give the bag a little more forgiveness so if you don't throw a flat as the bags this bag will kick on at least on dry conditions it will kick. When there's moisture on the board, it doesn't kick as much, but dry conditions, it will kick on you some, but that kick is also what gives you the control, the kind of ability that you need for, for a bag like this. So you can't take all the kick out, otherwise you have no ability to cut the bag. So just be aware. But again, it, it's not an awful kick. Because of the flop and because of the mixed fill, it's not, it's not a horrible kick. It's a controllable kick that you can play with if you need to. These bags are ACL Pro Stamp for 2024 as well. So you play an ACL events, you can throw the mud bugs. Let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability on this. And this this bag is really, so it's kind of a, a Jekyll and Hyde style bag and that dry boards, it's really like I said, a dirty bag style play. You're putting blockers up there, you're putting multiple blockers up there, you're creating all kinds of congestion and then you're trying to roll, cut, flop, whatever to get around it. and then at the end, you're going to go slick side and just try to clean up the mess, go through it, collect whatever you can or you're going to leave your bags there and just put your last bag in and take your points. On dry boards, this is not a PPR style bag, it's more of a DPR style bag for you and so it, it, that being said, as you 
watch early on, it's not the greatest bag to show on open boards because it's it's not really designed to just go hole for hole on dry boards. It, it is for wet moisture on, but not for dry boards. So you, you know, you'll, you'll see here the playability. You might look at, oh, I'm not throwing as many bags in the holes I normally do. It's not it's not because of that. It's just this bag shines better in competition. This is a this is a fun bag to throw when you when you when you got opponents because you can just put blockers. Or you have the control to put a blocker anywhere you want on the board. You can put that bag, make it stop, and really it's a tougher bag to collect. So if you get an opponent who doesn't who isn't used to pushing through bags, it's gonna cause bags to kick off. If you don't hit it right, your bag you're gonna cause bags to deflect and kick off. So it makes a wonderful blocker. Collectability this bag if you clip a corner it's not going to accordion up not a lot of flop so if you put your bag more on your opponent's side come down the middle with your whatever bag you're trying to collect and just grab it and pull it in you know if, if you if you miss and go further over your opponent's side you can throw a cut shot come across the cut grab it pull it back in sometimes that may take a couple bags to do you can definitely do it slow side i love the slow side for that push and replace game or putting up side by side bags or kind of stacking bags up to really make it tough on your opponent i love i love the control you have with this bag and like i said then you can go fast side and come over and just blow the pile up push your bags in leave your opponent's bags whatever you need to do so definitely wonderful for that dirty style game on dry boards the other thing i'll mention too is the whole friendliness of this bag it, it just it blew me away and, and i always talk about cornhole being a zero sum game and that you know if you if you get a bag that has this much control it has the control because the material is sticky and it grabs and it bites and has a ton of friction and resistance on the board and so in it, because of that you're going to lose whole friendliness because in whole for a bag around the hole you don't don't want it to stick you want it to slide in but what i found this back this is kind of the exception to that rule because normally it's as you gain control you lose whole friendliness and vice versa but this back has a ton of control really some of the most probably the most control of any bag i've thrown out there yet it's it's an extremely whole friendly bag for what it is and that's why i was questioning it, around the hole it plays like a hybrid material on the board, it plays like a carpet material. And so it, it, it really kind of baffles me why this bag is so much more hole friendly or why this material is than in any other true carpet material. I don't know, I can't explain it, but this bag just seemed to drip in the hole more than I expected a carpet bag like this would. The other the other side of this bag, the, the kind of the Jekyll and, and Hyde side of this bag here is is when boards get damp, as I mentioned, you get moisture on the boards, this this material actually picks up speed and plays faster. And then it goes more to like a six, six and a half speed, as you'll see here in this video, as there's more moisture on it, it's playing faster and faster. And I'm starting to just run bags in the hole. And it does a great job of that because you do have that flop that, you know, when you're running bags up there, if you get this bag to grab, the, just to dip in the, the corner of the bag to dip in the hole, it's going to dip in, spin around and pull this bag back in. So this bag then starts playing more like a faster bag. So if you're a fast bag thrower and you typically throw bags that are, that are we're all polyester you know when you get moisture on the board that polyester starts to slow down and gets harder and harder and you've got to find faster and faster bags to try to deal with it but a bag like this is a great bag to have in your arsenal because as the boards start getting stickier and damper from that humidity you can pull this out and you and, and this will speed up and play that faster speed you like so i know it sounds weird to tell a faster bag player to go get a carpet bag but it, it, for humidity, there's nothing better than a, than a carpet material, and this is one of the best materials I've seen in humidity to, 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 to throw. So definitely a great bag for those different scenarios, different situations. Leads me into availability on these bags, and NOLA has a website, nolabags.com. Link in the description for you. The, the mud bugs were 70 bucks for a set, and it was $10 shipping, so 80 bucks shipped to you, which is a phenomenal price for an ACL Pro Stamp bag. So if you've been looking for a true carpet bag and you're not sure which one to get, 80 bucks, get the mud bug a try. I think you're going to love it. it it's, a, it's a great bag. I had a blast. On it. it's just it's i forgot how much fun this bag is to throw I haven't thrown one in a while to start doing this review it's just for me i love this dirty style game i love the creativity you can get with this bag it's just, it just makes the game fun so i really enjoy throwing this if you've thrown the mud bug i'd love your feedbacks so what you like what you don't like drop a comment down below let me know i thank you guys so much for your support and i thank you for watching